In this video, I'm going to show you how to edit the column properties inside of Smartsheet. Now, as you begin adding data and adding columns, you're going to want to edit these columns. And so let's take a look at how we can do that. Here we have a basic sheet inside of Smartsheet, and you can see we have our primary column and our other columns already created for us. So if we want to go ahead and edit the primary column, if you go to the three dot column menu and you click on that, you can go down and click on edit column properties. This will bring up a dialog box and it's going to ask for the name and the column type. Here we can give this a name. So typically a primary column might be something like your task names. And then it says column type, text and number. Now this is grayed out and we can't make any selections. And the reason for that is because it is the primary column. Now the primary column inside of Smartsheet cannot be deleted and it cannot be anything other than a text or a number field. And so we're just going to go ahead and hit OK. But when we do, you can see when we change the name, it changed the name to our column at the top. Now, if we go over to any of these other columns and we click on that column menu and we go down to edit column properties, you will see that we can give it a name and now we can change the column type. And if we click on this drop down list, you can see there are quite a few different types we can have here. Text and number, a drop down list, a date column, a contact list column, check boxes, symbols, auto number, created by, created date, latest comment, which is grayed out because there are no comments, modified by, and modified date. So let's imagine that we want to make this a drop down list. So we can select drop down list. And when we do, it's going to give us some options, allow multiple values per cell and restrict to list values only. We'll leave those off for now. And then it's going to ask us what values we want to put inside of this drop down list. So we may say something like soccer, football, baseball, basketball. And then we can give this a name at the top so we can call this sport and then go to the bottom and hit OK. And now it's changed the, the name of that column and it has turned it into a drop down list and you can make selections based off of that drop down list. So that's how you change the different column types. So again, just click on the column menu and go down to edit Pro column properties. And then we can change the column type. Let's say this isn't what we wanted and we actually wanted a date column. So we'll select on date and we'll change the name to date. And it's going to say restricted dates only. Whenever you see this, basically it's asking, do you want the person to be able to input the information into the cell directly or not? Or do you want to restrict it only to what's going on? And for a date column, that would be the dates. We're going to go ahead and turn that on and hit OK. And it says one cell in the date column has a value that isn't a date. The column restriction settings will apply to future changes. We'll hit OK. And we'll go ahead and select this. And now you can see there's a calendar icon. And if we select that, we now have the option to choose a date. And all of these now become date fields. So uh, that's pretty much all that you have to worry about when it comes to editing the column properties. You're basically giving it the ability to assign a name and also to choose the column type that you're going for inside of Smartsheet.